Okay, I want to take a few minutes to go a little in depth and share with you the virtual field trip bundle that I've put together um, that covers every U.S. state and the five inhabited U.S. territories. This virtual field trip has been like my most requested virtual field trip. Um, and so I decided to make things easy and organized because I know that teachers cover not only the 50 states and territories, but usually we'll address those or cover those by region. So I'm going to take a minute to share with you what all is included and how I've formatted this so you kind of have a better idea of what to expect. So I'm going to walk through it. I don't have time to share everything with you, but just so you have an, a better idea. So, for example, if you were to cover the Northeast region, I have organized all of these virtual field trips so that there's maps included. And your students will also get a chance to do some drag and drop. So, for example, they're going to look for Maine using the abbreviation and they'll drag and drop the star onto the map. And then each state has a list of the indigenous peoples of the land. And I went through, and this took me a long time to do because I wanted to go beyond just the federally recognized tribes because I feel like that's very limiting. And so I did my best to do the research to make sure that every state includes the indigenous peoples of the land. So of course, as things change, you can always bring it to my attention if you see that one is, you know, missing or spelled incorrectly or something of that nature. But I've done my best to make sure they're all included. So this also has the list of the capital, the economy, just the main um, economic activity, the population as of 2020, so based on the 2020 census. I've also included the state flower and the state bird, and there's also the state flag. So for every single state, you'll see that. Now, obviously, because I just did a handful of slides for each state, I'm not going to be able to go like massively in depth into every state. But I tried to do my best to give you a little bit of history, a little bit about the economy, um, features, and not only just geographic features, but historical landmarks. And just to kind of give you a little well-rounded piece to that. So, for example, this one here. Um, this is where your students will click, and this is actually going to take them right to Google Earth. So every single state has a Google, at least one Google Earth link for 360 degree views. So for example, this one here um, gives you a pretty good uh, example. This is the Portland head light. And uh, so I can pan around. I'm using my mouse right now, but if you have students that are using... Um, like a Chromebook. They can also just use the arrow key. So here I'm going to swap to my arrows. So you can use your arrow key to look around. And if you're using a tablet, you can also just use your finger to swipe so that you can get a pretty good understanding of the landscape. So here's just that example again. This is just one of the links. All right, so I'm going to go back. So I've also included questions in here and I've just done a general question where did your eye go first when you explored this state and why did this stand out to you and then what did you learn or discover about the state through the virtual field trip these are editable editable so you can change them but for me I really want my students to make the connection to why we're learning about this and so it's these questions are going to have different answers like your student might notice something different than their neighbor their their classmate and so everything in here just really puts it back on the students to think about what they've learned so all right so here's just kind of a an overview for you i'm just going to keep going through so for instance like in this one here um, when you go to massachusetts so some of the different things like this one talks about a little bit of the landscape but then um, your students will get to go to the library at Harvard College. So that's the largest university library in the world. Um, and then I've also included, let me go through. So learning a little bit about different features here. Let me go down. 
All right, so there's a lot in here, as you can see. There's a lot. <laughs> um, but besides Maryland, I did include Washington, D.C., so you can see that here. Um, and then there's a little bit of a tour that your students can view. All right, so that's the first one. Let me jump over to the next one. Oops, I'm going to go up here. This one is the Southeast region. And again, it's set up in a similar fashion. You've got the different features and similar questions, drag and drop, the indigenous peoples of the land. And then let me share with you here. So this one has a, a tour of um, George Washington's Mount Vernon. And so here you go. So this is Google. I clicked this here. Um, you can actually use the little arrows to walk around. So you can go to the different parts of the and take a little tour. So let me show you. This is so amazing. I, I, this is what students love. They love that they can explore and actually look around and take in these places. Um, sorry, that's my dog in the background. <laughs> um, you know, we have to remember that a lot of times when students come from more affluent homes that have resources, they're more likely to go on trips, to be taken to events, to go to new places. And so virtual field trips provide that opportunity for our students that may not have the means to be able to go on a, you know, a trip to Mount Vernon and actually be able to do a little bit of exploring. So there's that one for you. Um, again, you can kind of see how I have it set up. Um, the different states and then let me go over to the next one which would be the Midwest region okay so here we go in Midwest drag and drop and this one will take your students like there's different landscapes so they can take an aerial view of the Great Lakes um, let's see there's also some of the a little video here that has to do with the Angel Mound State Historic Site. So I really try to bring in different perspectives throughout this. So your students, again, get a well-rounded understanding of different features, some of the history, some of the background. So this one goes to Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln's um, home and also covers some of that misconception. Um, he was uh, born in Kentucky, but he was buried in Springfield, Illinois, and he lived most of his life in Illinois. So his home is, um, again, you can take a tour here of his home, which is so incredible. I mean, it, technology today is just phenomenal. Um, so let me see if it'll zoom in for me. Yeah, so you can kind of see here. All right, so going back, I'm going to take you to the Southwest region. Now, I want to point out, there um, are different breakdowns for what is considered like the Midwest, what is considered the Southwest or the West. So just keep that in mind that there's really no official breakdown of what states make up every single region. So you might want to just double check with your own curriculum if you have a curriculum. Um, but what I've done is break this down. So as you can see, like the in this particular way, I've done the Southwest as four states and then the rest as the West, as you can see here in the red. And so you just want to keep that in mind. So that's how I have this one broken up. Sometimes Oklahoma is not considered the Southwest. So just kind of gives you a better understanding here. And here's Texas. Um, so this one here will take your students to learn about the Alamo. Um, let me see if I'll pull it up here so they can learn a little bit about the history of the Alamo. This will actually walk them a little closer. So again, your students are looking at what are they observing? Where does their eye go first? What is standing out? And maybe it's, you know, taking time to really pay attention to the features and the details that they see um, of the structure. Um, so again, there's little links in here, New Mexico. Um, this one actually goes to the Native American, um, the Acoma Pueblo, which is actually the oldest continuously inhabited settlement in the U.S., which is so incredible. It's pretty amazing. And then also they'll go um, in the Carlsbad Caverns, which is the national park, and they can look around. So that's pretty cool. 
Um, okay, so then let me jump over to the West, which is next. I personally live in the West. So this one was really, I enjoyed putting this together. I'm from Washington State. I, I was actually born in Maryland, so I lived on the East Coast first, but I spent most of my life in the United, in the, the West. All right, so here we go. Here's the West. Again, you want to check to see how these are broken down. And then there's lots of different little things. So this one goes to the, uh, the Mesa Verde National Park. So let me pull this up for you. So this is just what that would look like. So I'm just using, I'm just zooming in here, but you can actually look around. It's so incredible. It's so amazing. <laughs> Technology today is just so amazing. Um, and then again, there's questions. You can change the questions if you'd like. If there's too much, you can always delete a few slides if you want. The content itself is not editable. Um, but the video links are so if you didn't want to use this particular YouTube link you could take it out or let's say your student or your school has YouTube blocked one option is to just copy and paste this link into uh, safe share and you can recreate a new link and then insert that in so just do that before you assign this to your students um, and one of the reasons I organized it by state like this is that if you wanted to break this up and maybe have uh, students work with partners and maybe they're only going to be learning about Montana and then sharing what they learned with the class or maybe you know you do go through a whole group and you do a state a day so you could do use that um, and break it apart and just give those few slides to your students that you want to use so that's one of the things that you can take advantage of okay and I do want to just say that I often feel like the U.S. territories gets left out, but it is a significant and important piece for our students to understand. So I'm going to jump back up here. So here's for the U.S. territories. So there are five territories that are inhabited, but there are also territories, um, U.S. territories that are not inhabited and I just put a, a little blurb about that in here with a map and these are islands that are off limits to the public they're reserved for wildlife so those are there but your students can can take a look at that so this one uh, uh, starts with what is a territory because our students may not understand the makeup of the territory and then each one of the territories has a little blurb about the capital, the population, the economy, the climate, um, the total area, and then the year it became a U.S. territory. And again, there's a lot of history to these, but I did my best to just include a little bit about it. And then there's a little video blurb. So like this one here has to do with um, American Samoa, and it's like an – it's a – it's a little video from a local that shares a few different places to go and uh, just to give a little bit of a insight. And then of course there are the 360 degree views. So I'm going to go down here, another little video here on the indigenous peoples of the land, um, Puerto Rico, there's a little video and then you can look around. U.S. Virgin Islands and so let me show you like for this one for the U.S. Virgin Islands here is where your students would would go and then they can pan around and take a look isn't the water just amazing like that to me is the first thing that stands out is just the water and then the contrast for me what stands out are the is the contrast between the color of the water and then the um, sailboats here and then the contrast with the lushness of the green I just think that's just stunning I have not been to the U.S. Virgin Islands but it is on my bucket list um, I know my parents have been years ago and actually did some boating which is so cool um, but I hope this kind of gives you a better understanding of what to expect within this virtual field trip bundle so I have this set up in my TBD shop where you can purchase by um, just by region. So if you just want to focus on one region, like maybe the region where you reside, or if you want to grab them all together, I've bundled these with a discount so that you can get all 50 states and the territories and save a little bit.
as well. So that's in my TPT shop. You can find that. Um, just search Michelle McDonald on TPT. And um, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer those.